Yep, I knew that was gonna happen. I need to kill this guy as soon as possible. Okay, well, Soul of Last, thank you very much for existing. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know how long I will live past this. Not having range against Clutch is actually so unbelievably terrible. Don't resummon them, please. I'm dead. It's so over. Bruh! <sighs> Just don't go to the mines. Just don't go to the mines, bro. Just don't do it. Clutch sucks. Clutch will always end your run when you're one of these characters. Though that might have been a luck lack of range, honestly. Let's be honest. Why do they call it oven when you oven in the cold food? Oven out hot, eat the food. Give me that dime. Thank you very much. I will gladly get hit for that. That is absolutely gonna happen. Shop right away. Please be good. Ooh, okay. Okay, that's quite the loaded shop, actually. You know what? Screw it. I'm blowing up the damn donut machine right away. This is an incredibly loaded shop. And it is paying dividends. Holy crap. Give me the school bag. I prioritize Pisces because it breaks the tears cap. And then uh, I'll take coat hanger after. That's amazing, dude. Got the knockback from Pisces is actually so useful. <laughs> what the hell? Who would have thought knocking enemies away from you is actually useful? Also, what's with the amount of tinted rocks on this floor? That's three rooms with three tinted rocks. That's kind of nuts. I need some damn bombs, brother. With all these tinted rocks and shit? That's, that's crazy. Well, I might not be able to get this one, but still. Flight would go huge, too. Wowee, that's a, that's a good starting floor, man. It's not like crazy tier, you know? It's not like run one instantly tier, but... It's still very good. I'm definitely not going to my item room, by the way. I got 15 more cents, which is cool. Let's just check. I mean, I, I, I did say without actually looking. Is there a bomb for sale in here? There is. Okay. Let's blow open one of these tinted rocks then. Let's do this one because it's the first one I can easily get to. Okay, just some flies. Unlucky. Am I going to buy speedball? Yeah, speed is good. My, my tears are going to have crazy knockback, huh? Without knockout punch, obviously. Like, knockout drops is the craziest knockback you can get. But, like, Pisces combined with, like, high shot speed is also, like, crazy knockback. Like, look at that. These guys are getting knocked back so far. And I don't even have knockout drops. Knockout drops is just an extra level on top of that. Shot. Ho! 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 These are insane shops. Oh my god, dude. This is what I was looking for, man. This is, this is the type of keeper runs I love to see. I think I can... Yeah, I can. Aw. You know, drop a coin? Let's go, dude. It's even a luck up. Well, I got more money. Let's just buy more items before I even carry on. Diplo is gonna go huge, potentially. Um, rune bag is also great. I'm gonna prioritize rune bag for now. Because, you know, I still got rooms to clear so I can get runes. It makes more sense to grab rune bag before grabbing Diplo. I think that's the right play in this case. Yeah, I should go back for Diplopia. Why did... This happens to me every time. First of all, I sh probably shouldn't have stepped on the button in that room because I missed out on so much money. But every single time I do something like that, right? And it drops a bunch of money at once as Tainted Keeper. Without fail, I will always beeline for the sticky nickel. Like out of out of the like 10 coins that dropped there, I didn't get to collect any of them because the one I went for first was the sticky nickel and it short circuited my brain. Because I'm like, why can't I not pick this up? What the hell? Did I miss it? And then I double back. And it's just silly. Is there a mod that makes it so sticky nickels can't drop from Tainted Keeper coins? Ow. Should not have just walked onto that creep like that, but I was feeling lucky, I guess. The fact that sticky nickels can show up as, as Keeper actually, like, kind of pisses me off, not gonna lie. It's kind of upsetting. You know what? I'm gonna walk into my Devil Deal. I'm not gonna be able to buy anything, but I might be able to Diplopia whatever's in there. And at that point, I will be happy to just grab it. That could be kind of cool. I don't need to, but, you know, love that. Let's just take a look. Nine lives, huh? Oh. Guppy's head. Sure. Is this stuff worth diploing? I don't think Little Horn is worth using Diplopia for. And obviously, like, Dead Cat will put me at 1 HP, and there's not an HP up out here, so it's not worth it, unfortunately. Unfortunately. That being said, will I spend 14 coins on what is effectively a luck and a range up? Yeah, I will, because I have homing. Range is actually really good. Curse of the Blind, huh? Hmm, you love to see that. Juicy Curse of the Blind. Aw, oh, this is such a wonderful start. I love getting Tainted Keeper starts where you don't actually have to, like, fight for it, you know? It just gives everything to you. Oh yeah, it's Curse of the Blind! Haha, -ha, there's no point in buying any of these items, because they're blind! Isn't that great? This could be an incredible shop. Holy crap. I guess if I get enough money, maybe I will anyway, but... You know, it could be an incredible shop. There could, there's four items in there. That's already, in and of itself, not that common. Oh my god. A dime. Just like that. You're just gonna leave that hanging around? A free familiar? It's charge baby? I mean, not the best, not the worst. Love me another nickel. Maybe the game does want me to just buy everything in a blind shop. Uh, well, maybe I will. You know what? Normally you wouldn't catch me dead buying all the items in a blind shop, but fuck it. Okay, conjoined piece. 
Conjoin piece. Good item. Okay, this was actually a loaded shop. What the hell? I'm gonna get a five cent item because it's probably like per placebo or something like that, right? I'm hoping for a planetarium soon, by the way. I'm skipping the item rooms for now just on the off chance that I can actually get one. It's massive cope, I know, but it might happen. I should also try to do a better job of collecting the money, but it's not proven that easy. Let's go. I got the golden penny, though. Uh, and it paid out twice. Cool. Secret room right here. Huge news. Which means I will just grab this item, even though it's likely to be a health up. Uh, never mind, it's a spun piece. <laughs> I got spun. Holy crap, dude. Bro, you are Omega Dead Blood. Are you seeing this run right now? This run is so unbelievably overpowered already. Soul of Cain. Soul of Cain, huh? Let's blow this open as well. This might be a good card, son. You know, I'll just use that. It's just a damage bonus for the floor. I got a feel. I got a good feeling about right here. Aw, well, my feeling was wrong. Okay, I got enough money, though, for the, um, for the angel deal after the boss, potentially. So, let's just destroy Min Min, like, absolutely delete his ass. Almost walked into the trap door, that would have been a disaster. Okay, that's an HP up, unfortunate. Like, I feel like, I, I need to, like, look at the math on it. What's, like, the best point at which he should stop skipping item rooms? Like, I feel like once you've hit a 40% chance uh, to get a planetarium, that's a good time to actually just start going to item rooms again. I, I, I feel like, at least. Because, uh, like, realistically, especially if you're going all path, you've got, like, at this point, right, I've got a 40% chance, I've got four more floors left. Surely, in over the course of four floors, with 40%, that's, a, that's like, a very high likelihood of me getting a planetarium to show up. It's not guaranteed, obviously. If anything that I've learned from this game is that nothing is guaranteed ever. But it's damn likely. <laughs> so I probably will go to the item room. Soul of Eden as well. You know what? Reroll this. Odd mush. Let's go. That's a damage up, baby. Perfect time for that soul of Eden to show up, honestly. Couldn't have picked a better time. I don't know what you are. Okay, you booster pack. That could actually be good. Hold up, hold up. Joker, I didn't get a deal this floor, so let's do it. Ah, it's a devil deal. I do want to go Mega Satan, so unfortunate. Oh, wow, it took me back to the normal uh, boss room. Interesting. Nah, I want to grab some of those other cards. It was like an inverted emperor in there. And I won't check my item room because it's blind this floor. <laughs> I did buy out the entire blind floor, uh, blind shop, but that was because I could buy all the items. Uh, I will not go for a blind choice. That is the illusion of choice, matter of fact. I'm just not gonna do that. That seems asinine to me. One of her takes me. Gideon? This is a money getting opportunity, I've just realized. This guy's a money making opportunity, brother. I am way in excess of what I need to be able to kill Gideon, so. I don't even know what the item is, but I'm getting it. Oh, cool. Oh, I don't have a trinket yet, so... You know what I will do, although I will check my curse room as well. I don't know why I've neglected to do it up until now, but... Okay, turns out I shouldn't have. Never mind, I got a soul of Lilith. Sci-fly. <laughs> okay! <laughs> Alright! And down we go. I know... I know you saw the intro clip where I died on the mines. Sorry, on the ash pit. I I'm going down anyway. We go again. We always go again, baby. It's the mines. Okay, no, no clutch. That's, that's a good sign. Love the prospects of that. Oh my god, the shop! Well, there's conjoined, and I'm loving the apple as well. That's sack of bombs, mine as well. Sorry, bomb bag. I got a damn 61% planetarium chance as well. You know damn well that shit's gonna start paying out soon. Look, it's not even Gideon. Holy crap. What's this gonna be then? Hornfell? Lamau. He's dead. He's omega dead. Still no deal, by the way. A darn shame. A darn shame indeed. Oh well. Soul of Cain. Where am I gonna use this, bro? I, what I can use it for is figure out where my secret rooms are. Because while I'm holding it, it's gonna have the red outlines on walls that red rooms can be made on, and red rooms cannot be made on walls where there's a secret room. Ah, it feels like there might be a secret room here, though. Hey-hey! God, Soul of Cain is such a nice little cheat code for finding those. Uh, Give me the bombs. Yeah, sure. Okay, I'll just use this here. Ah, really was hoping for the, for the ultra secret room, but oh well. Still no planetarium, by the way. I've skipped three item rooms, and you're not giving me one. Huge. World's best bomb throw, you could argue. The biggest yeet you've ever seen. My god, it's a golden penny. I should really leave this on the floor so I can go all puff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Smart, smart play, smart play. All right, let's check the shop. It's greed. You know what? To be expected. Totally fair. Totally expected. Not at all upset about that one. Okay, I am upset, but you know. Don't need Sister Mega, already got conjoined. Bloodshot Eye does nothing, realistically, but hey, at least he's part of the team now. Part of the Turbo team. Okay, Reap Creep. You're not even on Ash Pit, oh my god. This guy is gonna get shredded like crazy. My damage output is actually absurdly good, by the way. There's a, my Angel deal. Oh my god, bro, this run is nuts. Holy crap, bro. It's crazy. Give me that. Um, it's a Perthro rune. 
I could grab it. Let's go. All right. Might as well reroll the item that I know, right? There you go. Okay, let's open. Yeah, let's open this door so I don't forget about it. Now I can just collect this guilt free. Let's grab that other golden penny. Wow. <laughs> okay, well, that, that was quick. Two more floors for a planetarium at 60% chance. Surely it will show up. I just lost my mantle and got scared for a second. Then I realized, wait, I'm not the lost. I don't have to be scared. <laughs> Losing mantle is not a death sentence. You're fine. Whoa, another great shop. I'll buy Frozen Baby just because it has a great tier effect associated with a cherry card. Whatever. Let's see what we've got in here, though. Dirty Mind or Nancy Bombs. I'll settle on Nancy Bombs. That's probably the better outcome there. Where is my planetarium game? You know you want to give it to me. You know you do. Give it to me, baby. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Pretty fly for a white guy. Anybody know that song? Anybody ever heard of that one? Classic uh, 2000s hit or whatever. I I don't know when music came out. I don't know anything about music. I'm like a complete philistine when it comes to that. Well, that's not true, but I am not very artistically inclined. As in, I don't know what a note is and how to read them. I, I never figured that out. Ah, finally, my planetarium. About damn time. A soul of Isaac as well. Holy crap. So let's use it in here. Luna is the better of these two, that's for sure. Ho ho ho. Absolutely take that. I guess I could have, what I could have done is I could have duplicated it and then used the Soul of Isaac and could have gotten two items, right? That would have been smart, actually. Uh, I know, I, I'm, I'm bringing it up mainly because I know someone was probably going to comment that exact thing. Look, I, I realized the error of my ways. I realized the play that I should have made. Maybe for the future it's been rectified, aka... If I ever find myself in this exact situation again. Yeah, no deal is not a surprise. I might as well buy a placenta. It can save me. And uh, unless the secret room is literally right here, I am leaving. Okay. Ooh. As much as I've been loving Guppy's head, I think it's time I use something different. Uh, getting some better trinkets. Not a terrible idea. Anyway, I guess here's like a funny story. I think I've told this like on, on an old stream in the days yonder before, but we have this thing in our house that happens sometimes when my dad decides to do some welding in his workshop downstairs that for some reason, sometimes when he welds, it like, I guess like overloads our breaker a little bit. And it's not like our power goes out or anything, but for some reason, Sometimes when he does that, my like monitor up here turns off. I I've noticed like there was like there were instances where I'd be like just chilling at my PC doing something, you know, and uh, my monitor would just turn off whenever he was welding. There were also instances when he would be welding, and then even though my PC was turned off, uh, this was when I still had a wired mouse. The the RGB on my mouse and keyboard would turn on, as if like they got like a little power surge. Which I think is very funny. Like, all he's doing is just putting metal on metal downstairs, you know? There's a lot of voltage running through that, I get that, but... It is kind of funky how that how that can happen. Is that a sign that there's like some electrical issue and like our walls are gonna catch on fire at some point if he continues <laughs> welding <laughs> on like wall power? Ah, uh, maybe. I don't know. I don't know how much like how much power does like a normal like weld like an average welder use like an average welding machine. It must be like a lot, right? It must be like up there like like with a microwave as well. Like I know microwaves use a ton of watts. What the heck? Don't want Luckfoot? Sure. Ah, oh, I missed out on Cricket's body for it? Oh, hell no. I should have should gambled. I'll live without Cricket's body, but it does hurt not having it. <laughs> I will admit. I guess that's like the next thing that I, like, I, I always fail to internalize, or like, it always surprises me when I remember it. How much damn power, like, a microwave uses? It makes sense, I guess. How else are you going to create, like, extremely high energy electromagnetic waves? Well, you need to put in a lot of energy, right? It makes sense. But... It's crazy to me. I whenever I like realize like oh yeah like a microwave has it uses like uh, I don't know enough watts like depending on the microwave obviously but it uses enough watts to potentially like you know load one of your breakers in your house like in some older houses people always uh, say that stuff like oh yeah if somebody's microwaving something in the kitchen then there's a chance that you could like flip a breaker if you're doing something else as well. That's crazy, man. I got a perfor rune and a dream, baby. Come on. You got to pay out, and this perforo's got to give me something crazy. All right, it gave me Isaac's tomb, which is not crazy, but also not terrible. I know like ovens use a ton of power as well. Again, creating heat, I guess. A bit of a, an expensive, power-intensive sort of thing, right? Like that's why usually uh, stoves and like ovens, or at least, are on their own little circuits, so that you don't, well, flip your breaker, range up, 
Oh yeah, my pills are all good because of luck food, of course. I don't know why I haven't gone to my curse room, by the way. I have mental. I forgot. I forgot I had mental. I can just go into my curse rooms now. Lamel. Is that crazy how we haven't found a way to make a more energy efficient uh, kitchen appliances yet? That's something that people should be researching, man. How to make stoves not use uh, 2000 watts of power or something. I may just be completely talking out of my ass, by the way. I deadass have no idea what I'm talking about. I'm absolutely not qualified. I am literally spreading misinformation as we speak, which honestly, I think is fun. I'll reiterate once more. I think spreading misinformation online purposefully is a lot of fun. And oh my god, those are some crazy good trinkets. I will gladly take Sigil Baphomet though. It's like one of the best in the game. Absolutely broken trinket. Now if only I could gulp these trinkets, am I right? That would be, that would be lovely. Still holding on to this uh, Diplo, by the way. Yet to find an actual use for it. I'm, I'm looking, I'm still looking for that good use for the, for the Diplopia. I'm still gonna full clear the floor, but I will check this. And now I got perfection too, man. Ah, what the hell? It's only Monastrons? That's kind of a damn shame. Kind of a damn shame, if you ask me. I'll buy it, because I got nothing else to spend money on anyway. Dude, I need to, like, gulp these trinkets. I got I got so many good trinkets that I want to keep that I've just seen on this floor now. I need to find a gulp pill. I need to find a smelter. Hell, even marbles would do the job, and I just have to, like, somehow keep getting hurt. There's so many good ones, and I want to keep all of them. Store credit is incredible as well, but mind you. I'm pretty sure it works on any item as a uh, tank keeper. Because anything, well, anything is paid. So just getting shit for free seems like a great value proposition. You know, I think like all those dudes who say, oh, I don't believe in materialistic things, I don't believe in money, they're bullshitting, dude. You know, it's always funny when like a billionaire says, oh, I don't believe in materialistic things, I don't spend my money on, on silly little things, and then they live in like a multi-million dollar mansion. <laughs> Like, oh really? Why don't you uh, just move out of your house and give it to a homeless person then? If you don't believe in materialistic things, why don't you just uh, live on the street? Mystery gift goaded, by the way. SMB superfan goaded, by the way. These are these are great items. Uh, I'm, I'm loving these. Might as well use this for a free card. Two of spades is nice. I love having infinite keys. Now to use this in a secret room. All right, sausage is good as well. Loving the stats, man. Loving the stats. Just a, just a huge fan of raw stats. You know what would have been a big brain play? I guess I'm, I'm falling victim to the thing again where I just hang on to Diplo forever. But I, at least in this case, it's not that bad because I have school bag, right? So, like, holding on to Diplopia forever, not a big problem considering I'll just, like, carry it alongside my other space bar item and then use it all in the dark room. It would have been big brain to Diplo the mystery gift and then use both of them in the secret room. That would have been, that would have been big brain, I think. Unfortunately, my brain is not wrinkly enough for something like that. It is rather smooth. I try to, I try to iron it out, get all those... N nasty little folds out of there and stuff. Make it nice and smooth and fit it <laughs> fit into the goop up there. Honestly, yeah, we just brute force through that room with Holy Mental. We took the negative, so we're going down. Unfortunately, I gotta leave Perfection behind because... Well, first of all... Okay, I do have a luck-based tier effect in Apple, and it would benefit a little bit from Perfection. But Sigil of Baphomet is, like, literally a free win. Like, I cannot die while I have it. There's a very low chance that I'll be dying. It's just that good of an item. Jacob and Esau, huh? I love how whenever you use the soul of Jacob and Esau, your game like lags. <laughs> As it like tries to figure out what the hell is going on. Judgment card is huge news. Luck up is huge news. I mean, at this point, I don't even need perfection. I'll have <laughs> I'll have uh, Apple proccing 24-7 anyway. Also, Mother's Kiss, a huge trinket as well, mind you. Gives me an extra ex HP on the Keeper. One of the only ways to get above two hearts on the Keeper. Oh, an item. And I can actually get to it for once. What do we have? Cracked orb. Okay, well, unfortunate. Uh, if it wasn't Curse of the Blind. Oh well. Another luck up. You'd love to see that. 11 luck. We're almost at full Apple proc rate. I think it's 14 where Apple procs, like, maximum. Well, here's the thing with this chest. I could re-roll this item. The problem is there's no point because I don't know what it is. <laughs> so, yeah. Like, yeah, it's a secret room re-roll that I missed effectively, but it's not like I wouldn't know what it rolls into, so there's little point. Anyway, to bring it all back to whatever the fuck I was talking about earlier before I, like, lost my mind uh, about God knows what, because I know how to keep a coherent uh, train of thought going. If you had a million dollars, what would you spend them on? <laughs> and why would it be the most menial shit possible? If you had a million dollars, which cryptocurrency are you dumping them into? You think? No, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm picturing this person, in my, I'm making up a dude in my head right now and pretending he's real, just so I can, like, make fun of him. You know, like, how on Twitter people always, uh, 
make up a person uh, to get upset about. I like to make up people to make fun of them because I think they're funny. Like, that's a funny archetype of a person to exist. Instead of, like, I'm not getting mad at them because I know they're, like, not real. But I, I like to imagine that, like, you know, it's funny if they were real. You think there's, like, an influencer type, like, social media dude that's, like, in the crypto scene that's, like, Hey, bros. And like, they're trying, like, desperately to get, you know, famous. And they're, like, hosting all these weird polls and shit where they're, like, uh, If you had a million dollars, which cryptocurrency would you dump them into? That'd be really funny, I think. Well, there's Guppy, by the way. I'm not even re-rolling that. There's Brim, by the way. I'm not re-rolling that. <clears throat> the rest of these? Well, I should take the damage, I guess. And now I have no money, but... I got Quad Brim with homing. Uh, and conjoined, mind you. Uh, <laughs> that's pretty good. I'll gladly take a rotten baby. My, Thank you very much. I gotta collect more money. Infestation 2 as well. We're gonna have a lot of blue familiars, huh? I should be rocking this for a while. I, I think I'll be safe without Sigil Baphomet for a bit, because the uh, Crystal Key is actually just that good. I'm on a mission here to collect as much money as possible. The luck payouts are getting kind of nuts, the lucky penny payouts. My god. Okay, Apple must definitely be at like 100% proc rate by now. If it can even hit 100%. I've gotten so much luck. Oh boy, brittle bones. How, how does this work? Does it lower my HP to 1? No, okay. It just gives me flat tears up. Oh well. I'm not gonna get the benefit out of like breaking bone hearts or whatever, but still. It's pretty neat, regardless. Ah, sure, I'll take you fans. Thank you very much. It's like none of these items terribly interest me. Let's uh, fish for something a little bit more exciting. Tech point five is not exciting enough for me. This is decently exciting though. It's a sizable damage up. Breaks the tears cap, although I don't think I need it. Mulligan is kind of funny because I'm already guppy, but I guess I'll just fly max a little bit. Whatever, not interested in that. Nope. Lactry with Brim, hold up. This is going to be crazy, isn't it? Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. That seems like it's gonna be kind of crazy. Because they're gonna be homing too, and they're gonna do a lot of damage. Limits my effective range quite significantly, but the damage output is certainly nothing to scoff at. And it stacks with euthanasia as well, oh my lord. Hey, there's my ultra secret room, by the way. Eh. Well, it's a luck up, I guess. <laughs> Just another luck upgrade to add onto the pile here. Monstro- yes. It's not actually a tears down, it's just extra beams. I don't know why it's not a tears down. I'm not complaining though. Uh, Lamb, let's just kill you real quick. Yep, you're dead. That was a one shot. That was straight up just a one shot. I... He stood no chance. Uh, incredible. This guy stands no fucking chance. He's so ultra dead as soon as one of my beams hits him. There you go, phase transition already. Never mind. Okay, it took two shots, but still. Yeah, it's kind of nasty, huh? Like the tears all scattering across the room. I've, you know, I used to underappreciate Lacry a lot. It has its moments. There are definitely items it synergizes extraordinarily well with. And I think the damage scaling on Lacry is kind of absurd. I don't really know what exactly like max size Lacry tiers scale to, but it must be insane because one shot just took out a ha like a half of Mega Satan's health bar. That's a massive chunk to like just take away like that. That's crazy. Anyway, the run is over. That was a good run. Thank you very much game and also you for watching hit the subscribe and like button <laughs> i can't do an outro like that it, it hurts to do that anyway bye